Hello, Brioso. We are starting on number seven of our sight reading packet today. So please turn to number seven with me. Okay, boys, what do we have to do before we do anything else? What do we have to do? Raise your hand. Signature. Please raise your hand. Don't blurt things out. You know, you know better. Yes, sir, Daniel. Uh, the key signature? The key. So here's my key signature. That symbol is called, raise your hand if you can tell me, what is the symbol called, Max? It's okay. I kind of took, caught you off guard. What is it called, Brooks? A sharp. Very good. And the sharp tells us we're in what key, Cameron? Key of G. The key of G. Very good. So write a G up here for me. Okay. Now we're going to go down below our key signature and we're going to draw a dough on the staff. So remember, the key told me dough is on G. So now I just have to go and find G on my staff. Raise your hand if you can tell me which line or space is named G, Max. The second line. The second line. Very good. So there's my dough. Yeah. And Max knew that because the names of our lines are E, G, B, D, F, and our spaces are F, A, C, E. So when we have the key, it tells us which one of those lines or spaces that dough is going to be on, and it's right here on G. Okay, now, here's the nice thing. Here's dough, our first note. Looky there. It is dough. So write that down for me. Now remember, we're going to say the direction and the solfege for each note. The direction it moved and the solfege. So here we go. I'm going to call on people. Uh, Caden, what's the second one? Uh, up Ray. Up Ray. Very good. Shh. Ryan. Up me. Up me. Cameron. Up. Up Fa. Up Fa. Daniel. Uh, down me. Down me. Diego? Up fa. Up fa. Isaac? Down me. Down me. Jaden? Same me. Same me. Cole? Down Ray. Down Ray. And Isaac? And um, down Doe. Down Doe. Excellent. Shh. Now, we have a new note value in our music today. So we're going to go up to the top and we're going to, and it's this note right here in the last measure. Okay. It's this half note. And then look, shh, there's this little dot next to it. Shh, that is not just a mistake from the copy machine. That dot is supposed to be there. Okay. So we're going to go up here and we are going to draw this note. So it's like a half note. Okay with a dot next to it. So draw that up at the top of your packet. And whenever they named this note, they were like super creative and really thought outside the box for a name for it. And they called it a dotted half note. Dude, that's so creative. It's so creative. It is like the most creative name ever. I know, I could never have thought of that, but it's called a dotted half note, okay? And raise your hand, how many beats does that one get, Mr. Cameron? Um, one and a half. No. <laughs> oh, Max. No. no. Shh. Dang. Three. Oh, yeah. You said oh, tweet. Job. Now, let me talk to you really quickly shh, about what the dot does, okay? So, the dot, if you add a dot to any note, its function is very simple. It's, t it's taking the original value of the note and adding half of that value back to the note. So, if my, if my note without the dot is worth what? Two, two, two. So here, in this case, my half note without the dot is worth two. What's half of two? One. 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 What's two plus one? Three. Three. Okay? So, that's what the dot does. Now, if it was a quarter note, okay? You, you'll have a, you can have a dotted quarter note as well. So here's my quarter note. If I added a dot to this, Here's how that would work. The dot takes the original value of the note. What's the original value of a quarter note? One. one. What's half of one? Half. Half. One half. One plus a half is? One half. 
Not one half. One and, one and one half. Okay, so one and a half. Now, eventually, eventually we will be learning about whole notes. Whole notes are worth four beats, okay? So if I had a dotted whole note, what would it be worth? I have four. Half of four is what? Two. Two. Add them together. Six. Six beats. That's how the dot works. So in this case, the dotted half note is worth three beats because I took the original value, cut it in half, and added it back to the original value. So I get three beats. Okay? Did you add more than one dot? So let's go down here. No. No, you can't have more than one dot. Now, looky here. Here's my dotted half note. When we get there, here's how we're going to show it. Okay, so when we do a half note, we go do to show both beats. Okay, so on a dotted half note, we're going to go do. It's kind of like that motion like you're driving a car, right? Do. Got it? Go. Do that with me. Ready? Go. Do. Excellent job. Now let's stand up and let's chant it. So everybody look, I, I missed this earlier when we were talking. Sorry about that. So look at it. Okay, so right here, we're in three, four times. So that three on the top is telling me I have three beats for measure today instead of how many? Four. four. We usually have four, but today we have three. So because we only have three beats in the measure today, I'm going to count off two full measures before you start. And the reason that I do that is because three, four time can just be a little harder to feel at first. So I'm gonna give you two full measures of three, four so that you can start to feel it, okay? So here we go, show me dough. Eyes up here. Dang. Dang, eyes up here. Ready? One, two, three. Chanting, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, fa, mi, mi, re, do. Excellent. Do that one more time. One, two, three, one. Oh, what should I be saying right now? It's, it goes and one, one, two, and go. I stop. What should, you're not answering my question. You're just trying to do my job. What should I be seeing right now while I'm counting you off? No. Pulsing, hand sign. Pulsing hand sign. Ready? Let's do that together. Show me dough. One, two, three, chanting, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, fa. Do, it's not do, so make sure you're doing it the right way, okay? Uh, All right, now what do we do? Raise your hand if you can tell me what comes next. What are we seeing every single time? Max, the broken chord. The broken chord. Everybody say together, the broken chord. Do, mi, so, mi, do, lo, so, do. Excellent job, let's sing it together. Here we go. Dot. Okay, here we go. Ready?
gonna change the key. I can tell that this is not a good key for you guys. I'm gonna move it up a step. Let's try it again, okay? Four. Broken chord, ready, go. Nope. Listen to the first note. Imagine yourself singing it before you just guess. Okay, ready, big breath. Do you have a question, Brooks? Okay, quit talking. Ready, go. Excellent job. Good job, Brioso.